Hey, so this is technically part two of the series, and while you don't need to watch part one to understand what happens here, you should still totally check it out, right here, where I'm pointing. Previously, on customer service nightmares. And then, he appeared, 12 cards in hand, ready to throw the world into chaos, to watch the world burn. I may have been able to deal with him last time, but there's something much worse ahead, and I'm going to need help. Hey, Moz, wanna team up? Yeah, sure, but uh, you're gonna pay me, right? You, you, uh, Austin? Austin, you're gonna, you're gonna pay me, right? No, crime fighting doesn't pay. I can see. I can fight! <laughs> You've heard it all before. After my jump to supervisor, I was put in contact with upset customers and crazy situations galore. Here are some more of those stories. So buckle up and embrace the chaos, because we are taking a trip down retail lane, and it is a bumpy ride. Pretty much every business will experience shoplifting at some point. But for whatever reason, we had some really ballsy people come through our store. I'm gonna start off with the meh cases and work my way up to the crazier ones. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So this guy comes in, young, has a backpack. You know how it is, the suspicious type. So, one of my managers ends up following him for a bit, but ultimately gets distracted by another customer. This dude jumps straight into action, makes his way to the energy drink section, walks about halfway down the aisle, looks up at the cameras, looks straight into them, then proceeds to fill his bag with as many energy drinks as he can fit, before standing back up and leaving the store. Confidently, I might add. Red flag number one. This woman comes in and has some reusable bags, which is fine, but then she goes around putting grocery items directly into these bags, which you're actually not supposed to do because, you know, you're supposed to put them in the buggies and or carts. So yeah, that was not okay, but people do that all the time. Doesn't make her a shoplifter. I understand that. But this brings me to red flag number two. She's in the store filling these bags for more than an hour and just keeps walking the same circle route over and over again with minor alterations. At this point, my manager's taking notice and asks me to keep an eye on her just to make sure she actually checks out. She eventually makes her way to the front of the store. Bags filled, check. Walks up to the cash line, check. Stops and actually places the items on the belt, nope. She just walks up to one of the cash registers, bags filled to the brim with meat and expensive cheese. Then walks through, past my cashier, and starts making her way towards the exit. But the cashier working that day was like, Are you gonna pay for that? Her head turns around like, Nani? Almost to say, No one has ever done that! No one has ever done that! She keeps walking though. Then this woman with the straightest face ever just puts the bags down, shrugs, and walks out like nothing happened. I found out later that there's actually a pretty active market for cheap stolen goods, and apparently you can sell this kind of stuff on the street. I'm not too sure I'd be willing to buy that way though. Hey, hey, over here. I got what you need. Yeah. Provolone, AAA steaks, olive oil, mayo. Nah, 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 I take you for a real connoisseur of gourmet goods. How about... a lobster? No, I'm, uh, I'm good. All right, you're a loss, mate. Hey, 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 you over there. I got what you need. This next one might as well have been a heist. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never seen this much organization when it came to shoplifting. It started when this lady came in. She was probably in her mid to late 20s, wearing a big purple coat and had some sunglasses on. Let's say it's around 6 o'clock. This obvious heist master enters the store at 18.05, pushing a cart with a bunch of reusable bags and bins in it. 
In as little as 15 minutes, she skillfully fills the cart to its maximum capacity and quickly makes her way to the entrance where one of her accomplices is already waiting. He opens the automatic door, since it since it can only be opened from one side without without a key. There's a vehicle waiting right outside the entrance, ready to go. The three of them throw the contents of the cart into the van and quickly drive away. In no more than 20 minutes, they managed to steal a solid $800 worth of goods. We never did find them, but we had a security gate put in after that. And while the gate did stop people exiting through the entrance, it also quite regularly locked people in between it multiple times a day. Help. You know, I didn't realize how many of these stories I actually have. If you don't like this one, I might make another one with other incidents. In the meantime though, Maz is gonna take over. No, honestly, um, yeah, okay, I'll do a short story. So in my video with Sultan where I mentioned that I shoplifted as a kid, what I didn't mention is that, uh, shoplifting, okay, and now that I'm gonna get called like a terrible role model for this, seriously, but shoplifting is so easy. Like, honestly, if you walk in and out of a store with confidence, no one is ever gonna stop you from doing anything. If you grab, like, okay, well, you can't do that with clothes because, you know, they've got that tag on them, and if you walk out with them, you'll get, like, beep, 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 alarmed, and then the police will be like, PUT YOUR HANDS IN! You know, and then they'll, they'll kill you. Um, so, but this is with, like, regular stuff like gum and uh, water and... <laughs> and chips. <laughs> Who is stealing gums, water, and chips? I'm the lamest criminal ever. No, but if you wanted to steal, for example, random knickknacks and stuff, just put it in your pockets. No one's going to stop you if you literally walk out the door uh, completely full of confidence. But what, to make it less suspicious, what you can do is also just put like a lot of tiny things in pockets and stuff, and then get some stuff and pay for them. So that you, you do have to pay for a, like a little bit of stuff so that it doesn't seem suspicious. But once you go out the store, because you pay for something, they're just like, oh, this is just a customer. You can take out the stuff from your pockets and, you know, enjoy your spoils. Now, uh, please don't actually do that. That's like, that's what criminals do. That's what villains do. And you're not a villain. I, I hope. Don't you dare shoplift. All right, thank you everybody for watching this video and major thanks to Austin for having me on and uh, participating in this video about shoplifting. Now, if you want to watch some of my own videos and chase up my luscious voice, head on over to The Amazing, my main channel, or you can just click on more of Austin's videos and enjoy his stuff as well. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and just have a general good time in the comments as well. All right, ladies everybody, and stay amazing. Also, huge thanks to my friend Jared for lending me his growling and screaming skills for the monstrous energy transition. If you're into heavy metal music, check out his stuff. I'll link it down below as well. Anywho, enjoy these bloopers. Hey, Moz. Wanna team up? Yeah, okay, sorry. Let me be more animated. Okay. See, you're giving me freedom and now I'm freezing up. Fight! Fight! Put your hands up! Wanna get some dollar dollar bills? <laughs> oh, I'm garbage. Alright, whatever. I <laughs> just realized I'm re recording for 10 minutes without using my microphone. Lovely. I can fight! No, that's a bit too desperate. Sorry, hold up. <laughs> See, I'm allergic to criminals. <laughs> Time for another recording session with Austin. Oh, God, I'm weird. Hey, so this is like a quick update. When I was making this video, we actually hit 100 subscribers, so huge thank you to all of you. Can't believe we hit that number. Uh, I've been at this for just under a year now, and yeah, I honestly, 100 subscribers may not seem like much, but it means the world to me, so thank you. Really appreciate it, guys. Stay awesome, stay cool, I'll see you next time. <laughs>